All right, when we finished up last time, we had created the membership page, but we have a problem here, and that is we have memberships here, and everybody sees that, and then when you look down the bottom, they can't see the fact that we have information about how to sign up and membership fees. So what we want to do is we want to create some hyperlinks at the top that will take them to the bottom, and then a hyperlink that will take them back up to the top again. So these are called anchors um, and, I mean, bookmarks and hyperlinks. So the first thing we need to do is set up our um, our bookmarks so that people know so we have a place of way of getting down to them. So we have two bookmarks we want to do and that is in the H1 tag we want to send them to where how they can sign up and we want to take them down to where the membership fees are. So um, what I'm going to do is in this section here uh, I'm going to put a bookmark and it's just going to be an ID tag. So I'm going to say ID, and the ID is going to be equal to, and then whatever I want to use for the bookmark. So I'm just going to use uh, sign underscore up, and then close the quote. All right, so that's my first bookmark. I'm going to bookmark it to sign up. I have to use the underscore, or I have to leave the space out. If you put a space in, it will not work. The next thing I want to do is go down to membership fees, and here I'm just going to put ID is equal to, and I'm just going to put fees. And that's my second bookmark. So now I have ways for people to get to where I want them to go. And so the, now I'm going to go ahead and create my um, hyperlinks to those by going up to the top. I already have a, uh, one that's going to our home page, and I'm running out of real estate and that's no big deal. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create uh, a couple of spaces so they're all not sitting on top of each other. So what I'm going to do is put a tag in that's going to be ampersand and then NBSP. That stands for non-breaking space. So it's going to shove it over one character and then I'm going to go ahead and do another one. So it's going to be ampersand NBSP non-breaking space. And then I'm going to go to the next line. Uh, it'll be the next line here, but it won't be the next line on the page because it'll just keep shoving over to the right. And then I'm going to say um, I'm going to have an A tag and then the href on that is going to be to my um, my link. So it's going to be equal to and then we're going to use the hashtag and then the name of the bookmark. So if I go down to the bookmark, the first one is sign up. I'll use my friend's copy and paste. To do hashtag sign up. And then I'm going to add a title to that. And it's going to be equal to sign up information and then what I want to show on there is uh, let's just go ahead and do s sign up all right so I have everything that I need I have um, the link the title and then what I'm going to be using there and you can see it's different color and I didn't close my quote here so I like that's what I like about having the color coding lets me know when an error has occurred. Alright, so let's see what this is going to look like on the page when I preview it. Alright, so now I have a new hyperlink up here. When I mouse over it says sign up information. And when I click on it, it should move to the bottom of the page. There it is, how to sign up. Alright, so let's go ahead and do another one to the membership fees. So I'll go back to the editor. I'm going to go ahead and add two more non-breaking spaces. So I might as well just uh, copy and paste this. And then create another another line. And I'm going to do the same thing I did before. And that is I'm going to have an anchor tag. The href is going to be to hashtag. And then move down. <coughs> Next one says fees. Copy that, and then I move up, and I type paste in fees. 
and then I'm going to add a title and it's going to be equal to see our fees and then inside I'm going to type for the hyperlink just fees okay I'm going to go ahead and um, preview that you can see that the non-breaking spaces put some space in between each one um, I'm going to check my sign up to see if that works and it does uh, we do have a couple other we have another couple other problems one is when a person gets down here um, I had to get back up the page without having to use the scroll bar. Uh, the second thing is, when they get here, it's at the bottom of the page. Wouldn't it be great if how to sign up was up here at the top of the page? So let's go ahead and fix the um, the moving this up to the top of the page first. Um, and we have to do that using CSS. So one of the things that we can put in there is we can put in uh, what we call padding. That is empty space at the top at the bottom of the page if we go into our CSS we can see that if we go to padding we have padding bottom and we have padding this way too we're gonna do padding bottom so let's go ahead and see how that works I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to say padding dash bottom and I'm going to make it some pixels, so I'm going to make it a thousand. It sounds like a lot, but that's just a dot, remember. PX. And then, so this is a colon, and that's a semicolon, ending that. Now, when I preview my page, and I hit fees, now fees shows up at the top of the page, because we have this padding down at the bottom that gives us space that allows it to shove it up to the top of the page. <coughs> Alright, so that's great. So the next thing we want to do is we want to have a way for us to get back to the top of the page. And we do that with a hyperlink and a bookmark. <clears throat> so um, after this paragraph is where we want to put that link. And we're going to go ahead and put an anchor tag in again. And the href is going to be to hashtag top. And you're probably thinking, wait a minute, wait, Mr. Birdie, why haven't we gone ahead and put a top? at the top of the page and uh, the reason why we didn't is because um, it's already built in and then we'll put a title and we'll say the type of title is equal to go back to the top of the page close that and here we'll just put a little less cryptic I mean a little more cryptic back to top. All right, so we have uh, we didn't create an anchor. The anchor of top automatically brings them to the top. Now, if, say we wanted the top we wanted to bring them to was going to be underneath the membership, say down here somewhere. Um, then we could we can actually create a top and it'll overwrite the top that's already built in. But we're going to go ahead and use the top. So now when I click on sign up, it goes down to sign up. And I click on back to top. It brings us back up to the top. And that's great. So now that we made that one, we actually don't have to reinvent the wheel. Uh, we want to have this same one here to be down below this uh, our last membership. So underneath our last paragraph, we're going to paste it in. It's the same as that one, so we're going to use that. And then I'll preview it. And then we'll go to sign up and then we'll go back to top and then I'll go to fees and when I mouse over back to top I get that go back to the top of the page just in case I couldn't figure that out uh, and there we are That's excellent so now we've added some functionality we learned about bookmarks we learned about hyperlinks we learned about attributes of a hyperlink we've learned how to add uh, blank space to the bottom of our page for some functionality we learned how to do lists and now we'll work on to our next lesson